Let's talk quickly about how to name pyramids and prisms. You can see that um, there are several different shapes here. I just want to talk briefly about naming the prism. It's so important to be able to name the prism or the pyramid as you're calculating surface area and later volume. Um, so if you look in the top row, you see that all of these are prisms. If I look at what makes all of these similar, you see that we have on each shape, you can find rectangles. So our prisms are always going to have bases connected by rectangles. So what I mean by the base is what shape is opposite of rectangles, okay, of the rectangles that are connecting them. So here I can see that I have triangles connected by this rectangular space. So this would be a triangular prism. Um, in the next example, I have a square prism. The base would be a square. Um, here I have a rectangular prism. If I look at this, I see that I've got rectangles um, all the way around. So all of my faces would be rectangles. Um, here we have a pentagonal prism. You see the word pentagon. So our base is a pentagon. So we know that we've got... Um, pentagons connected by, two pentagons connected by these rectangles that give the shape its height. Um, then we have a hexagonal prism and an octagonal prism. Okay, so the base in each of these, the base names the shape. So this becomes an octagonal prism because the base is an octagon. It's going to be really important because when we're looking at the height of a shape, um, the height is not going to be the height as if it were resting on a table or a floor. So this is not your height of the shape. The height is the space between the bases, okay? So that's going to be really important, again, as we move to um, surface area, but then on to volume. So the height of the shape is going to be the distance between your bases. Okay, so again, we've got to be able to name that base in order to find that height. So this, again, um, a hexagon names this shape because the hexagon is connecting these rectangles, okay? Um, if we look at pyramids in the bottom row, all of these are pyramids. And what makes a pyramid different than a prism is that you can see on every single shape you see triangles, okay? Um, you also notice that all the triangles come to a point. So in each of the shape, you have a um, point where all triangles meet. Okay. Um, so again, the base names the shape. So in this case, we have all triangles. So it is a triangular pyramid. The next example, we have a square pyramid because we have a square as the base and then pyramids. Um, meeting at the top. Here we have a rectangular pyramid, so our base is a rectangle. Um, a pentagonal pyramid, where we have our base is a pentagon, a hexagonal pyramid, and an octagonal pyramid. Okay, so again, thinking about naming these shapes will be important as we move to problem solving. Make sure if you want to, you can um, print this out or take a picture of it. Um, you're going to want to refer to this, these shapes and these names throughout this topic, okay?